Mary, what's that thing about uh, stepping over a child? You that can't step over them, they won't grow. The old crowd just say, you can't st if you stepped over the child, the child wouldn't grow. So you have to walk around them. You heard that growing up? Yes. And do you ever any anything else about a child at all? It was good luck or bad luck? Or? No. Stairs. We ever told like if oh yeah we ever told if if if, if, if no one a little baby be born you'd put a little bit of a little pin or something in the, in the cot with it or a little medal in the cot. Oh yeah, you put medals in them to protect them. Yeah. You put the medals in the pram, is it? Yeah. Or you, yeah, you pin it onto the blanket in the cot to protect the child. Did you do that? Oh yes. Did you have that at all, Durham? I I probably I, I oh. remember that being done. Yeah, yeah. you have the the medal. I still do that with the medals. Give them to the youngsters. Give them. My son is sick, so I sent him all kinds of medals and St. Anne's oil and holy water. He has it all now, if he never had it before. St. <laughs> Saint, Saint Anne's oil? Yeah. What's that? It's an oil from the shrine of St. Anne in, in Quebec. And we believe that, you know, it can heal you. Yeah. And you were saying to me as well there, about uh, it was a bad luck thing as well, about meeting someone on the stairs, was that it? Oh yes, you can't meet anyone. If you're coming downstairs and I'm going up, you got to go back. One of us have to go back. Good bad ha luck. <laughs> bad luck, yeah. yeah. And tell me this, did you ever told as well, knowing you're a young one at all, or even Durham, did you ever hear this as well, where you'd, uh, if you saw one, one crow was bad luck, two crows good luck, three crow. Did you have that one? One, one for sorrow, 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 two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy, five for silver, six for gold, seven for a story that's never been told. Yeah. 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 And tell me. Oh, yes, I always bless you. If you see, you see one crow, you'd always bless yourself. Right, you just have no. Hope to see a second one. <laughs> like if, even now when I'm driving, I see a crow. Yeah. But there's a lot more crows around now, too. See, like, yeah. That's obviously bad luck. So if you see a crow going on the road, you you bless yourself. One crow, you bless yourself. There's two. That was good luck. So you wouldn't worry so much. <laughs> yeah. Did you do anything else queer like that? If a knife fell to the floor, would you say a man to the door? Oh, I never heard that one. That's new to me. Or if would you? If you're if you're um, did you? Did any of your mothers or any make make butter years ago? Churn butter. Yeah, mum did, yeah. She did a lot of butter. I churned a lot of it, but she made the butter. Well, he's ever told no one say your mother be churning. If someone came into the house, they'd have to put their hand to the churn. Or else yeah. take a look with him. Do you, no. did you have that? No. no. Did you ever remember your mother blessing, blessing the butter when she was making it? Oh, yeah, she always put the sign of the cross on it, yeah. Mm. Did that with your bread? I still have the old pan up there. That's the pans I clean my berries in. You know, mum used to make bread, but she also used to make butter in it. That was an old pan. She died in 1990. So that's the that one old, she made, made the butter in, yeah, the big pan. That old beat-up pan that you have on yeah, the wall up there. Yeah. yeah. And how did she... Yeah, she'd, she'd, yeah, because she'd bless a lot of stuff then. She'd bless it, you know. Yeah. I still do. Every now and then, I'm, like, uh, if I'm using a chainsaw, I you know, always bless the chainsaw before you use it. Just to, yeah, you know, and the same for an axe, was it? An axe too, yeah. And would you bless the axe if you're using it? Not every time. I usually like, uh, when I, I don't always think of it now, but most of the time, like when I, like certain times of year, you start using the axe. Because you don't use the axe as much now. Because you use a chainsaw most of it. There's a need for an axe. And sometimes when you take it out, say, when you start doing fencing, you put the sign of grass on. Hmm. And can I ask you this well about your mother's butter churn? Was it an end over end turn, the one you spun? Yeah, I still have that too up in the cellar, the turn. And the beaters were inside in it? The beaters were inside, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a tedious job, but now, because we was 11 of us, I had five brothers, so me and my younger brother, we, that was our job, separating the middle, yeah. and then turn the water. Just kind of, you know, that's, but I mean, you never, you just, that was your job. And yeah. when he's ever told that the, the, the butter wouldn't come, say, if the weather was, if there was lightning or thunder, the butter wouldn't come. You'd be churning all day long. Yeah, you have to be. It's only certain days you'd, you'd, you'd be told to go to churn the butter because, yeah. yeah. 
Did you used to do anything on a Good Friday? Were you ever told never to take a spade in your hand on a Good Friday? Oh, especially, you never take an axe or a hammer. An axe, especially. Yeah. You never do that on a Good no, Friday. No. Sorry. You wouldn't do very much on Good Friday. Very little like to just down on Good Friday. But you, 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 you'd never take an axe into your hand on Good Friday? Or no. no, that's or right. a hammer. No, I, I have since then because it's but not very often. A few times I did, I was sort of felt guilty about it. Not that I was doing much with it, but you might be up in the spade and then you realize, my gosh, Good Friday, you might stop what you're doing. But it was a time when you never think they'd use an axe on Good Friday. And was it to do with the metal in the axe, or was it just to do with the, the, the idea of working on Good Friday? Yeah, it's just the idea of working on Good Friday. And you, you, you knew Good Friday was coming, so be prepared. And um, you're probably generations well, come Saturday evening, you know, you do all your housework Saturday evening, you wouldn't do anything at top on a Sunday, did you? Well, I, I remember, uh, like Sunday, all the people that have a place to be down on the corner. Now, I'm not referred to that word since we came at the corner up here. There's a very popular place in Branch, the corner. You make fun of us saying the corner. Mm -hmm. But uh, people who dress up Sunday best on Sunday, and you go down, the men would be on, the women wouldn't be there, but the men would be on one side of the road, and the young people, we wouldn't go near the men then. We'd just stay away from the adults. They'd have their talk. Mm -hmm. But you'd, we might sometimes be hanging around it, and you're playing ball. The ball went over among the men. You'd, you'd pray it on us. You say, no, you go and get the ball. You say, Ted, the younger ones, you go and get the ball. Because you weren't supposed to be around. But they'd all be dressed up in their, their crit hat and their suit of clothes, you know. But now, Sunday's just... Another day. Yeah. But it was just something nice about that, in a sense. Mm -hmm. they, they, they worked hard then, a lot harder then than now. Oh, yeah. You know, just this, we have the tools now, like it's so easy. Mm -hmm. Chainsaw, so it's much easier. Yeah. So then they... they Sunday was a day of rest. You needed that day to yeah. take a break from the work. And also on a Sunday, we were told as well, like the women would have the, because the women had most of their work, the spuds would be washed on Saturday night, the children would be washed, because yeah. you wouldn't want to work on, did you hear that, yeah. Mary? Yeah, you wouldn't do anything really. Mary outside. still does her potatoes on Saturday night. Would you? Would you do? <laughs> you would. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say anything now. Yeah, <laughs> like, because at home, there's some of the old people that always say to you, oh, you wouldn't even take a needle in your hand on Sunday. You wouldn't do oh, it. no, they wouldn't. Mm. No. It'd be bad luck to go near it. Yeah. 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 Tell me this as well. Did you always have a tradition here? We had it at home. You'd never, uh, you'd never move house on a Saturday. Or if you'd start, start Friday was a lucky day. Did you ever hear that? Certain days of the week, you do certain things. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not so sure that we wouldn't move a house on Saturday, but I... I I've heard of it, yeah. I've heard of that idea. But you wouldn't move house, no. yeah. Yeah. But if you if you were moving into a house, the new house, usually you'd move in on Wednesday because Wednesday was considered the best day of all. Monday for health, Tuesday for wealth. Is it? Wednesday's the best day of all. Thursday for losses, Friday for crosses, and Saturday's no day at all. Say that for me again. Monday for health, Tuesday for wealth. Wednesday's the best day of all. Thursday for losses and Friday for crosses. Saturday is no day at all. So if you were moving in a house, you would move on Wednesday, if you could. So that's where our moving on a Saturday one probably comes from. That's, a, that's an interesting one. Uh, but, you, but you wouldn't move on a Saturday at home, yeah? No. yeah. Saturday's no day at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Da <laughs> da